नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम टू आई होप दिस इज माय फुल रिव्यू ऑन डी यू रोम ऑन मा विच इज बेस्ड ऑन मार्श मेलो एंड्रॉइड सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन ऑन माय वन प्लस वन आई हैव बीन यूजिंग दिस रोम फॉर ऑलमोस्ट अ वीक नाउ एंड आई हैव फ्यू थिंग्स टू सी अबाउट दिस रोम फर्स्ट थिंग इट्स नॉट बक फ्री सेकेंडली चॉक कर्नल इज अ रियल बैटरी सकर सो यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल अ कस्टम कर्नल द मोस्ट रिकमेंडेड वन इज रेडियो एक्टिव on an average on the stock kernel you get sot of about 4 hours but on radioactive kernel you you might reach up to 5 5.5 hours besides that i found that sometimes the the settings don't show up or see just for now so it's not showing up or the contacts don't get loaded or the logs also don't get loaded so there are five minor bugs and these can be quite annoying sometimes even in camera way if you go sometimes you don't see the menu at all these are the minute bugs apart from these bugs it is one of the fastest rom i have ever used it is blazing fast and it loads up apps very quickly i can switch through apps extremely fast and it's very responsive smooth and it is a clean rom it has way too many customization options we go to settings we get an option here called dirty tweaks in this all the customization options are available starting from miscellaneous we have download center in which we can download the g apps and uh, tomahawk's music player i'll review tomahawk's music player separately it's a great app this is in the miscellaneous system has animations we can customize the animations according to our choice expanded desktop doesn't show up in the status bar the power menu it has a beautiful power menu highly customized here it is it is not as great as darko base power menu but still it's very good we have system app remover in built we can simply remove the bloatware which we don't want for example it has annoying chromium browser in built so i just removed it next is wake lock blocker when we enable this it blocks all the apps which are running in the background which sucks our battery here are these things which are sucking my battery it also has inbuilt ad blocker so this is a great feature next is multitasking du has included almost all the multitasks possible it has app circle bar in which we can just simply click on this to get the app circle a quick set a quick apps we want to launch we can customize this as per our convenience second is gesture anywhere we can enable a trigger area including its position its height and width and then we can set certain gestures according to our our choice for example if i had a gesture for example let us say i want to set a gesture for es file explorer so i'll set an e and done when i go to trigger area just by tapping here and when i draw gesture e it opens my es explorer so that's very fast next thing we have here is multi window i can use multiple apps at the same time for example i want to open youtube and whatsapp together i'll simply double tap and i'll set youtube to upper part and whatsapp to below part and here we go i can watch youtube videos along with chatting next thing we have is omni switch everyone knows what is omni switch when we enable it and when we slide through we get this certain tasks and we can clear we can customize them we can pin some of the tasks we get our entire menu in this so no matter in whatever screen you are you will get your app menu and your recent menu right in front of you just taking a, sp a small part of your screen so this is only switch next thing what we have here is heads up whatever the notification comes it comes straight away on the top covering the status bar let's go to navigation it has on screen navigation bar and it is customizable too we can set the bar size and we can set left handed right handed mode 
I'll disable it for now. Next thing we have is buttons. We can customize the buttons. What double tap will do, what single tap will do on all the buttons, all the three buttons is can be customized here. And whether we want to reorient volume button when we rotate our screen and volume rocker wake on lock screen and playback control on lock screen via volume buttons. Next is status bar. So in battery we can uh, change the way the battery style is in the status bar like for example let's say dotted circles or icon portrait icon landscape circle dotted circle text or hidden i'll keep text here and we also have battery bar location the battery bar above the status bar which shows our battery level so if i keep on status bar and i have also enabled this uh, charging animation and when we connect our charger we see some animations like uh, drop by drop the charge is getting added from the right to the left side to the battery bar so this is quite funky next what we have is carrier label to show then we have time contextual header like this it shows an image in the header bar above the status bar next what we have is due logo to whether show it or not on the status bar for example like this the horse which shows there right on the left top portion of the status bar we can set any color for it when i set blue it will go blue next is clock and date settings it's just normal then we have quick settings here uh, that is to enable quick pull down smart pull down and normal stuff Next is status bar items. Then we have notifications. And then we have traffic indicators. Next we have uh, many lock screen customizations also. For example, we can set custom fonts and custom font size and colors. Then there's a weather widget. Lock screen notifications counts up to five. Lock screen wall configuration you can enable the media cover art while music is playing. You can see media covers or art uh, album arts on the lock screen. We have also enabled lock screen torch, in which we can long press our power button on the lock screen to enable the torch. Next is bottom left and right shortcuts. We can set customized shortcuts, and then we also have mid screen in which we can add various apps through which if we double tap on the middle section of our lock screen it will launch those apps directly then we have um, the general UI in which we have LCD density which we can set the customized DPI and then what we have is miscellaneous tweaks uh, here we have options to enable the brightness control over the status bar we have task manager so here are the two options the task manager over here and the brightness control over here then we have toast icon flashlight notification media scanner behavior on boot this is very important if your phone hangs a lot or if you have too much data filled on your phone and it takes time to boot up or if, if it takes time to load apps after booting up then you can always set this to do not scan media on boot so it will be time saving and it will not lag as much as it does next is scrolling cache this can improve our uh, scrolling capacity we have kept it default enabled then we have force close notification we can disable them if we consistently get uh, the force close notifications through various apps because those are quite annoying sometimes next is dt2s that is double tap on the status bar to sleep next is dt2s on lock screen through which we can double tap on lock screen to put our device to sleep then next we have is SE Linux switch options and SE Linux mode which is enforcing that was all it with the dirty tweaks another thing is we have super SUB installed on this so this is a huge advantage because all the root options are managed by super SU when we go to about phone we can see info about due and its support and its developers team its developer team is always active and it is very helpful whenever we need them 
we just need to write our query on their respective uh, communities and uh, rest assured that you will get a reply soon then we have change logs we have the updater currently there is an update which is just arrived today so I will be updating it too let's see how it works I hope that all the bugs are now rectified on this update and what we have here is extra information about your phone then everything else is just the basic stuff here we have the marshmallow game also and I really suck at it so this was my review for settings I'll also like to show you the camera on this ROM we have snapdragon based camera and the camera is very responsive very fast and it is quite good but as I said before it has bug it doesn't show up menu for example if I rotate my screen from portrait to landscape then the menu goes off I hope this bug is also rectified in the latest update another thing what we have here is wiper for droid which I showed in the previous video on how to install this ROM in which also I showed how to flash your wiper for droid another thing we have is a tomahawk music player as I told before I will make a separate video of it and we also have Dew certified which works as a layers manager or theme chooser it has many themes mostly all are paid and one more app we have here which is steam blackout it gives us latest news about our various apps and there are also themed apps which are downloadable we can simply click them and download it and once it's downloaded I will just simply install it so this is pretty it with my full review of DU that is Dirty Unicorns ROM on uh, OnePlus One based on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 I hope you guys like this video do click the, uh, do hit like or uh, do hit like button subscribe to our channel share our content and if you have any doubts regarding this ROM about battery about performance about game performance etc do let me know I will surely make a video of it mention your doubts in the comment section below thank you guys